Salut, David Wallman here. I have a very quick video today. I want to talk about clean playing and how to avoid all the unnecessary noises, especially when you're playing with high gain volume. It's not difficult to fix, but it's really frustrating because it takes a while to adapt your fingers to the instrument the way they should to avoid all the unnecessary noises. Let's consider a short guitar run played alternate picking. Notice that I did not use any delay or any reverb. I don't want any distraction. I really want to focus on the clean playing. As you guessed, the clean playing comes from the hands. There's a lot of different techniques, but here is the technique that worked for me. It's a combination of the right hand and the left hand. The palm of the right hand is gonna take care of all the lower notes. So let's say that I'm playing string number three. As I'm playing string number three, the palm of my right hand is gonna rest on strings four, five, six. That does require a little bit of practicing because you only want to cover strings four, five, six. If I were to play string number two, the palm of my right hand would cover strings three, four, five, six. This means that as I'm running across the different strings, the palm of my right hand is going to kind of glide through the strings, muting all the unnecessary notes heard on the lower notes that I'm playing. Your right hand is simply resting on the strings, kind of gliding through, and once you get comfortable with that, it's a fairly natural type of position. That doesn't really take care of the higher strings. If I'm playing string number three, strings four, five, six are covered by the palm of my right hand. What about strings two and one? They also need to be covered, especially if you're playing fast, and if your right hand picking is not super precise, there's a chance that strings two and one are gonna ring. For those strings, I'm gonna use the left hand, the index finger. When I started playing guitar, my teacher told me to have my fingers straight on the strings. The problem with fingers being straight is that there's not much flesh there. There's just enough to touch the string. If you have your fingers flat against the strings, this part of the finger is gonna put contact against the frets you want to be heard, and this part of the finger is gonna be able to mute all the strings that are above. Take a look at my left hand as I'm playing this run, and notice how the index of my left hand is pretty much always flat. If I need to put pressure against the fret, I'm gonna use the top of my index, while this side of my finger is always touching the higher strings. <laughs> Working on this technique is gonna take a little bit of time because you really need to train the palm of your right hand and the index of your left hand to be synchronized and placed exactly where they should be on the fretboard. Practice this very slow, very gradually. When you're actually playing in a band or in a gig, don't worry about this technique. Work on this on your own at home. After a while, it's gonna become very natural. Always practice really slowly because you wanna train your fingers to do exactly what they should be doing. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Until then, salut.